Well, it's been two years since we've last been back at the APF, and here we are over at the Global Recycling Stand. I'm joined by Andy Dudley, and we are taking a look at the Norwood. I knew I was going to mess her up. I've done it already. <laughs> it's the first thing. It's the Lumbermax HD38. Andy, what can you tell us about the Norwood brand? Right, so the Norwood brand has been going for nearly 30 years. Uh, it started off in the 80s by a guy called Peter Dale, and he designed sawmills in a modular fashion. So you can buy a sawmill in its most basic form and then you can add the options to it. Unlike some of our competitors where you buy a sawmill at the spec you want. Yeah. Whereas these ones you can absolutely start bog basic, you know, with a static mill. You can then add a trailer package to it. You can add hydraulics to it. And we also do something called a set work system as well, which is like a computerized system. So absolutely every single option you can add to this at a later date. So I've had customers that have had a static mill for five years. Uh, and then they decided, you know, because it's the main part of their business yeah. and things were getting heavier and harder to handle, they bought all the hydraulics for it and added it to it. So, yeah, at any point, all the options, you know, it's, it's a true modular system. Because being part of the industry over the last, like, five, ten years, I've noticed there's a lot more mobile sawmills going onto the road. Yeah. But you don't tend to actually see them because back in when I was doing treeway, you take it to the sawmill, you'd see the big blade, it'd go down, and then you'd, you wouldn't know what happened with the timber. That's it. And then you see this stuff now and you're thinking, well, it's, I could add it to the side business. I do. I go out and cut the tree down. Every now and again, you get a really gorgeous piece of oak, and it yeah. it kills you when you go. Well, it's going in the chipper, and then it's going on the splitter. Yeah, yeah. But you wanna like one thing I wanted is like a live edge desk. Yeah. But you need like I I need a massive desk. This one, the depth is thirty eight inches. So yeah, it's a, the the Lumber Max HD thirty eight. So it means it's got a thirty eight inch capacity. So yeah. you can physically put a thirty eight inch diameter log, and the carriage will pass over it. And then what we talk about is board width. Yeah. So the widest board it can cut is 32 inches. So that's the actual throat of the mill. So when you pull the blade guide back, it's the gap between both blade guides is 32 inches. We'll have one on the round. Can you tell us a bit more about the engine fitted to it? Yeah, so on the engine here, we've got a Briggs & Stratton. Uh, it's a V-twin petrol. Um, we also offer this in an electric as well. So we do it as an 11 kilowatt three phase electric mill. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, everybody sort of sniffs at, at petrol engines and, you know, wonders how sort of economical they are. You'll get a full day's milling out of a tank of fuel on this. So they, they really are economical. And plus you've got 23 horsepower, you know, cutting through your wood. So it, it is quicker to cut through the timber as well. So one thing we get asked is when we're buying a product like the Norwood, what happens with the IVA stuff? Do you take care of that or have I got to buy it, assemble it and then go for testing? Right. So if you, there's a couple of options. You can buy the mill yourself assemble it so it all comes in in boxes it's all in kit form it's the world's sort of biggest meccano set uh, so you can assemble it all yourself you can add all of your trailer package on yeah. uh, we do two trailer packages we do a road legal and a non-road legal trailer package so the non-road legal is for the guys that just want to move it around the yard move it around a field and then obviously this one has got the road legal package so if you were going to fit it yourself it comes with full instructions on where to put the lights the axle the drawbar and then when it comes to IVA test, I will then help you out with that. I can submit all your documents and basically I would book it in for a test for yep. you, tell you the place to take it, the time and the date, and then it will go through its test and then you get your certificate then. So you offered that all in one service of coming out, doing the demo, like the machine, we'll help you get it and then it, go yeah. through the IVA and then it arrives at your yard. Yeah, I mean, the, the, you know, the other thing is, if you didn't want to build it yourself, we can yeah. build it for you for an extra cost and we will go and get it IVA. So we can literally deliver this to site ready to rock and roll. It looks fairly easy to assemble. Looking at it, it's just bolts, washers and a couple of nuts. That's it. How long it, does it take to assemble for like a first time user, for instance? A first time, well, put it like this. The, en <laughs> the engineers in our workshop, the, the guy who builds these in our workshop, he can do one of these in a week. So that's 40 hours yeah. and he's built several of them. So if there's a couple of you building it yourself, you know, you, you probably do it in sort of three to four days. Uh, it, it does help to have a bit of sort of mechanical background yeah. to it. Uh, I have had some guys that are complete novices um, and, you know, I'm always at the end of the phone if there's a, an issue, you know, where does this go, where does that go? Because some of the instructions, as clear as they are, you know, some people aren't mechanically minded, you know, get a bit, bit muddled up with it. So can you tell us a bit more about the blade fitted to it? Yeah, so the blade on here, so it's 167 inches, uh, it's inch and a quarter in width. They can take up to inch and a half, but we, we only go for the inch and a quarter. It's, it's very rare somebody has an inch and a half blade. Uh, tooth pitches, seven eighths on this, yeah. uh, and it's what they call a standard sabre tooth blade. So it will do hardwoods, softwoods. You can resharpen the blades as well. You'll get around five resharpens out of a blade. 
Uh, and blade cost, you know, it's, they, they are a real good quality blade um, and we're looking at 215 quid for a box of 10. You can switch the system on and then you can actually speed up and slow down how quick the head lifts and lowers. So it, it's just one less thing for the operator, you know, yeah. it's one less sort of, you know, intervention that they haven't got to carry out. Involved, isn't That's it, well? it yeah. And I've it, seen the old ones where you're doing that and you're thinking, going to be there a while doing that. Yeah. I mean, the other good thing, I say, you know, you can add options to it. So we do something called power feed as well. So not only we have power saw head up and down, if you go for the power feed system, you actually get a radio remote control. And then you can lift and lower your saw head, you know, stood back from the machine. And you can also power it through the log as well yeah. and return it. So then, you know, the uh, operator doesn't have to be hands-on with the machine. Andy, thank you very much for showing us around the Norwood. No, you're more than welcome.